Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Lindsay Fisher from Total Performance Physical Therapy um, and I'm here today to give you more steps on what to do if you wake up in pain. Um, a lot of people will come in here and they'll tell me that they woke up with a pain right in the bottom um, and either on the right side or left side and right in the middle of your, your butt cheek um, there's a muscle called your piriformis. And that muscle can tighten up if you've worked out the day before, if you've done a lot of housework, um, various reasons, even if you sleep wrong, um, you can wake up and have a pain right in that side of your bottom. Um, and these are some steps you can take if you do experience that. Now I will start out by saying, if you have numbness down your leg into your foot, um, if the pain is severe, if you can't walk because of it, um, please contact us. Please, we can do a telehealth. We can talk to you over the over the phone if you don't feel comfortable coming in here. Um, or you can come in and we can examine you. But I wanna start out by saying if it is severe, please go seek help. Um, but these are things if you wake up and it's just kinda nagging, um, kinda hurts when you walk a little bit. These are some steps that I would take if I wake up with this. First and foremost, I would say warm up that area. Um, Stretching a cold muscle isn't going to do a whole lot. So you need to make sure you're warm in some way. So whether it's a heat pack that you put right on your bottom, um, either side, depending on where the pain is. Um, you can also do some type of active warm up. So walking around your house. A lot of the times, if it is a muscle that's just tightened up, walking around and moving it will actually help it feel better. So maybe the first couple steps you take might hurt a lot. But as you get going more and more, it will loosen up. Um, so either walking, if you have access to a stationary bike at home, you could do that to warm up. Just get some blood flowing and warm up that area, okay? The second thing I would do is stretch it. So there's three stretches I'm gonna teach you for the piriformis muscle. Um, the first one you can do sitting. So you can basically decide which one works the best for you. So you're sitting upright on a chair, okay? The ankle is gonna come up over the knee, keeping a straight back, I don't want you slouched over, keeping a straight back, um, you're gonna bring your chest towards your shin, okay? And as you do this, you'll feel more intense of a stretch. Um, if you feel, if you are even struggling to get that leg up here, and you feel a stretch right in your bottom, maybe coming down the leg just slightly, that's fine, you don't have to lean forward. But if you want more of an intense stretch, keep that back spine straight and lean chest towards shin. You're gonna hold this for 30 seconds, and you're gonna do a total of four of them. Okay, so you'll hold for 30 seconds. And then I would go ahead and do the other side as well. Sometimes you can see the difference in the sides. So it's always good to do both sides. So pull that leg up, keep your chest or your back nice and straight, chest towards your shin. Okay, so that's the first stretch you can do for this. The second stretch um, is called a pigeon. This one's a little bit harder and you may not have a surface like a table at home, but maybe a couch, um, counter is probably too high. But what you can do is bring that leg up, okay? And same thing, keeping a straight back, you can lean your chest towards your shin, and you'll feel a stretch right in the bottom here, and it may come down that leg slightly, okay? But keep a straight back, make sure you're not slouched over here, or you're gonna cause other issues, okay? And once again, do the other. I'm gonna have Shannon show you the last one. And this is called, the pretzel stretch. So you can lie on your back, ankle over your knee, and then she pulls the thigh with her hands into her chest. And same thing, hold 30 seconds and do four of those. And I would go ahead and do both sides, okay? So that's another one. Good. And she pulls her thigh into her chest, and you'll feel a nice deep stretch in that piriformis muscle. The last thing I would do, we'll switch real quick. Um, if you have access to a foam roller, um, great. You can use household items. You can actually use PVC pipe if you want. It's very hard, but you can use it. Um, you could use a rolling pin. Um, anything that has nice, firm, is kind of cylinder in shape, you can use. Okay, so this is the foam roller. And what you're going to do is you're going to sit on that foam roller, hands behind you, and same idea as when you're sitting in the chair or on your back. You're going to bring ankle up over the knee and you're gonna lean to the side that's up, okay? A lot of people will get in this position and they'll lean to this side, but you wanna lean to the side that the, the leg is up, and you're just gonna roll back and forth right over that piriformis muscle. Um, if you ever feel numbness tingling down to the foot as you're doing this, you might be going just a little bit too hard, 
So kind of use that as a guide. It should, you should feel it right in the area you're rolling, but you don't want to cause numbness in your foot. Okay, so you'll roll here. I would say roll for about a minute over that side. If there's a tender spot, it probably means it needs to be worked out. So go ahead and stay on that site for about 10 seconds and then kind of roll and see where else is tight. Same thing, I would always go with both legs. So here, lean to the side, put all the weight through that side of your bottom and roll back and forth, okay? Another option besides the foam roller, if you don't have that at home, but you have a ball of some sort, you can use that as well. This is a little more intense. This is most intense. Um, this is more intense than the foam roller because it's nice and concentrated right on that muscle. So you can do it on the floor, you can do it on the chair. Put the ball right under that bottom, okay? And once again, bring that leg up and you can kind of roll back and forth right over that ball. And that'll work out that tissue for you, okay? Um, that's it. I hope you have a great day.